We're here. We're talking with Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who's running for the Democratic nomination to be the president of the United States. Okay, Mr. Mayor, one week before you announced your candidacy, you gave a speech where you apologized for stop and frisk. Yep. What motivated you in that moment, other than the fact that you were about to try to appeal to a broader Democratic coalition? Look, I started out with 650 murders a year in the city, mostly young minority males. Had to do something about it. Your responsibility is to stop the carnage. Did the best I could. Near the end, I realized we were getting out of control and doing it too much. Actually talked to the woman who's my assistant, sits next to me, has a young son. And we talked about what would happen if her son was getting stopped. And I took a look and said, let's try something. Stop doing the stop and frisk and see what happens. We thought murders would go up. It didn't. So I said, let's phase it out. And before I left office, we'd cut 95% of them out. Then I, somebody said, what did you do? And I said, I made a mistake. And if you can't apologize, I don't know how you live with yourself. Sometimes you just, not everything goes the right, not everything is, goes the right way. Sometimes you do something wrong. Apologize and get on with it. Well, while you were mayor, there was a lot of criticism of it as well. It went from 95,000 stop and frisks a year when you started to over 600,000 at its peak, and there was a lot of criticism. Why not assess we, it while it's going on? As a leader, don't we, we want we you to did. know that while you're in power, you change your mind, not after it doesn't matter? No, we did, but it, the murder rate went from 650 down to 300. We reduced dramatically, and but you said afterwards it wasn't because of stop and frisk. Because when you stopped it, it didn't change anything. Well, we did the best thing we could. I think it had something to do with it at some point in time. You do too much of one thing, then you should stop doing it. We reduced the incarceration rate. We reduced the recidivism rate. Uh, we started a whole bunch of programs for young kids. One of which President Obama copied for the nation. Uh, and you just have to do all the different things and, and try and see what happens. When you were mayor of New York, did you ever have to deal with Donald Trump, who is, you know, by his own uh, description, a prominent New Yorker, certainly a famous guy, a builder, as he says, in he New was, York? He was reasonably well-known. He was a real estate promoter. Um, and Not developer, you would call him a promoter? I would think more so, because a lot of the buildings he didn't build, he just put his name on it. Okay. And... Um, he, did you guys hang out? Did you guys do anything together? No, we, well, we cut some ribbons together. He okay. bought the rights to uh, build a clubhouse at one of the city golf courses. Mm -hmm. You trusted him with a sharp object? To, to uh, I stood far away. So far away, okay, yes. I actually played golf with him once at a charity tournament. Did he but, cheat? Did he cheat? Uh, no, because we had five balls in the air anyways. Okay. So, but he has a reputation of not being, let's say, scrupulous in how he counts strokes. Yes. <laughs> Or wives. Now we now, took the subway to... <laughs> now... He, he did, however, the one time I talked to him after he was elected, but before he took office, uh, he gave me his personal cell phone number. Please tell me you still have it. I didn't bother to write it down. <laughs> Damn it. We can call him right now. What's it like out on the road? Where have you been so far? If you're not, if you're not campaigning heavily in the first four states, where's your focus right now? We've been to uh, 20 states and 40 cities. Uh, I've started uh, going out to the West Coast on Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. uh, California being in Super Tuesday this time. California, and then through Utah. And for, actually, I'm going to Washington, D.C. first, and then out there, uh, go through Idaho, go through uh, uh, Utah, uh, and then back. But it'll be six days on the road, and then I'll be back for a couple days, and then you do it again. I've got a great staff. They do all the things back here, and my job is to get out and let people see who I am, and hopefully they'll like me, and if they don't, nothing else I can do. Just be myself. Well, you have a $10 million ad buy in the Super Bowl. Yes. Can you tell us anything about the ad? Uh, yes, that I'm not going to tell you. No, the only thing I'll say is it's a serious subject. Uh, I'm a believer that I should be spending my money to do what I think is right and give people op options. And uh, it doesn't quite fit in with uh, popcorn and beer, but it's a chance to reach an awful lot of people. And it talks about something that I care very much about and I think is 
important to the country. Well, uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you for being here. Um, uh, good luck. Um, if we're going to have a billionaire president, you seem like a much nicer one. And all the luck in the world. Mayor Michael Bloomberg, everybody. We'll be right back.